Do you crave constant change or do you prefer the comfort of routine? And does it take you an excruciatingly long time to get used to change? From the change of seasons, jobs, addresses, partners, changes in personality or appearance, last minute changes, outfit changes, it can all be just a little too much for the highly sensitive person to handle. And it gets even trickier if you're in the high sensation seeking minority of HSPs which is characterized by novelty seeking and the need for frequent stimulation, which kind of feels like you're constantly doing a tightrope walk. If you want to know more about that, have a look at my high sensation video after this one. What we should try to remember is that not all change is bad, and even the worst kind of change can be an opportunity for growth. Like losing someone close to us, if for whatever reason the relationship crumbles or, worse, they pass away. It's common for the HSP, especially for the introvert, to not have too many friendships or relationships because social interaction wears us down. And because we seek depth in everything we do, our relationships are rarely superficial. So when we lose one of our ties, we lose a huge part of ourselves. This kind of change can be the most devastating to get used to. For me, it sometimes takes years. And the process is about mourning a part of yourself that has been lost when this person ceased to be a part of your life and then finding a new part of yourself to embrace and fill that hole with. From this, you can grow into an even stronger, more resilient being with deeper love and compassion for those around you. But it's a conscious choice that you have to make because you can also allow the loss to just destroy you completely. Another approach to change is the Buddhist way. In Buddhism, it is believed that nothing is permanent and pretty much all of our suffering comes from our attachment to things. So all we gotta do is work towards relinquishing our attachments to anything and everything, which is of course not an easy feat and should be seen more as a lifelong course rather than a quick fix. I think that if you're a minimalist, you probably already have a pretty good sense of what it means to let go of certain attachments. But how do we let go of our attachments to people? If this sounds worth investigating, I suggest you take a deep dive into Buddhism to find some answers. When dreading change, like with a new job, what usually makes it worse is our own thinking. We're so many steps ahead in our mind that we've already played out all the ways in which everything could go horribly wrong. We should learn to stop overthinking when it doesn't serve us and stay in the now. Meditation and spirituality can play an important role in achieving this. And we can also benefit from focusing on all the ways in which the change can improve our lives rather than how it might ruin us. I once had a conversation with a friend in which I expressed to her how a certain choice that I had to make could go wrong in so many ways. And her response, but what if it goes right? So simple, and yet the thought hadn't even occurred to me. When you change up your routine, it takes a lot of energy to find your new groove. This is another reason us HSPs don't look forward to change, even when it's something we're excited about, like moving into a happier home in a better neighborhood. We need to get used to the new neighborhood sounds, new routes, smells of the trees, echoes in the room, dogs barking in the neighborhood, the practicality or discomfort of the bathroom amenities. You name it, it's all new and foreign and will take a lot of time and energy to get used to. That's why it can be helpful to anticipate this and allow yourself the time and space to get used to the newness without any other obligations. Like not hosting any housewarming parties for the first couple of weeks until you feel settled. And wherever relevant, limit the amount of things that you change at a single time. For example, if you have the perfect bed, make sure that you can take it with you into your new home so that your new environment has at least one source of comfort and familiarity. Even a simple schedule change at work can be difficult to get used to because it has a ripple effect on our lives. For the highly sensitive person, it can make us feel like zombies at the end of the day when there's a lot of change that we're adjusting to. When it's a change of our choosing, it's good to remind ourselves that the discomfort will pass and we will grow from facing it rather than avoiding it. Would we really rather stay in a dead end job just because we fear upsetting our routine or fear of the unknown? A little period of distress will result in significant improvements down the line. It's about finding the balance between avoiding discomfort and seeking improvement. And if you're a tightrope walker like me, to get back to the sensation seeker for a moment, I abhor doing the same thing twice or repeating the same activity on a weekly basis. Repetition just gnaws at my brain. That's just how it is. But I do function better when there is some structure in my life. 
as much as it irks me. So I have settled for some routine. And that's all I have for you today. Now go out there and do something different. Or, you know, not. Ayo!